Testimony so in Donald Trump's hush money criminal trial is scheduled to resume tomorrow after several key developments in court yesterday. They have the day off today. First, Judge Juan Mershon held a hearing at the start of today's Tuesday's proceeding to determine whether the former president had violated his gag order. Prosecutors argued Trump had done so at least 10 times and won him held in contempt. They have asked the judge to find him $1,000 for each violation. Trump's defense team argued their client has not violated the order, but was merely reposting opinions of others on social media and was, quote, being careful about complying with the order. But the judge expressed extreme frustration with that argument, telling Trump attorney Todd Blanche he is, quote, losing all credibility with the court. Later outside the courtroom, Trump told reporters any violation of the gag order in articles he reposts to social media is unintentional. Somebody writes an article. If I read every one of these articles incomplete, I read some of it and I'll look at headlines, all good headlines, if the case is a sham. But I can't read the whole thing. I'd be reading, this is like reading a novel. So I put an article in and then somebody's name is mentioned somewhere deep in the article and I end up in violation of the gag order. So he says he's innocently reposting things that do, in fact, violate the gag order, attacking witnesses and others. Judge Mershon has not yet issued an immediate ruling on whether or not that was a violation of the gag order, all 10 of them, as the prosecution alleges. Let's bring in former litigator and MSNBC legal correspondent Lisa Rubin and former U.S. attorney and MSNBC contributor Barbara McQuaid. Good morning to you both. Um, Lisa, I'll start with you. Uh, clearly, Judge Mershon yesterday, very frustrated, had enough of the argument from the defense team that Donald Trump doesn't mean to be posting these things, that somehow he's not posting the whole article, so it's not as bad. Where do you see this heading? I see this heading, Willie, toward a finding of contempt. The question is on how many of these 10 posts and with what remedy. At this point, the DA's office was very clear. They are not seeking any term in jail for Trump. And of course, that's one of two alternatives under the criminal contempt statute here in New York. So expect to see a written opinion from Judge Mershon and the next couple of days that talks about the willfulness and intentional quality of Trump's violations of the gag order. One of the things that the DA's office pointed out that I thought was really savvy was to show that in addition to these offensive posts, Trump has talked about the gag order in many other posts, including a video that he posted to Truth Social fairly recently. And their point was Trump knows exactly what he can and can't do under the gag order. If he didn't, he wouldn't be complaining about the strictures of it. He also has posted rampantly about the judge, about the district attorney, about the process as a whole in ways that he understands full well, do not flout the gag order. And so again, expect to see a written opinion from Judge Mershon in the next couple of days that finds Donald Trump anywhere from, I would imagine, $5,000 to $10,000 and also orders him to take the offensive posts down with a warning, the next violation will result in something far worse. Barbara, you do get the sense that the former president is testing this judge. Is he really going to hold me in contempt for violating the gag order? Every time he complains about it, he then goes outside to that bank of cameras and violates the gag order. So let's say it is in the next couple of days this ruling comes down and it's $5,000 or $8,000 or however many counts of violation of the gag order the judge deems uh, that Donald Trump has committed. Is that a step towards something else after that? I mean, I'm not sure $7,000 is going to deter Donald Trump. Yes, I, I think that most judges like to use progressive discipline. That is, you know, your first violation will get you uh, one, one fine. A subsequent violation might get you a higher fine. And then ultimately, of course, this judge has the power to jail Donald Trump for even up to 30 days. Yeah. Uh, it does seem that Donald Trump is almost trying to bait the judge here. He wants to perhaps demonstrate to his supporters that he is above the law and he can get away with anything he wants to. Uh, but on the other hand, you're sort of damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you do jail Donald Trump, then doesn't that just fulfill his prophecy that this has all just been a witch hunt to try to uh, you know, curtail his election efforts and interfere with the election? But I think um, if I were Judge Mershon, I would do uh, follow the advice of Janet Reno, who once said, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. And when you find yourself in this, that situation, the, the best thing to do is to do the right thing.
and any other litigant who found themselves in that circumstance who repeatedly violated a gag order would find themselves jailed. And so I think that ultimately that is the risk that Donald Trump faces.